The months of March and April can be a great time to go freshwater fishing on Cape Cod. The Cape is home to hundreds of ponds that were created thousands of years ago by receding glaciers. In today's episode, we'll go fishing for black crappie and a variety of different types of trout. But first, I meet up with my fishing Cape Cod member, Jeff Coates, for a morning of fishing for yellow perch. The morning of March 10th, 2021 was a chilly 35 degrees. It was a good day to do some freshwater fishing, and Jeff and I were both excited about our chances of catching some yellow perch. So we've got a size one. Is that a Gamagatsu? That's a trocar. Trocar, all right. I like the trocar hooks. Size one trocar and pretty small weight. How many ounces is that? It's uh, five sixteenths. Five sixteenths. We connected the weight to the hook using a polymer knot. We hooked the shiner through the lips, which would help make the bait look natural as we drifted along. Jeff has caught a lot of big fish doing this, so I asked if he could share a little information about the technique. The way it's set up, it's sitting on the bottom. The fish are on the bottom, and just kind of slowly moving along. Uh, perch will, will chase it down on certain days. You know, it depends on what kind of mood they're in. But uh, today they seem to be pretty aggressive, so just moving it real slow, moving the boat around real slow, and just waiting for the bite. Our drift brought us over a weed bed in 14 feet of water, and in no time at all, we started getting bites. Fish. Oh, nice. I think it's the right kind, too. I see stripes. That's what we're looking for. There we go, first one of the day. Nice size. That's great, so we'll probably keep that guy, I would think. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Beautiful. Delicious fish. That was a pretty aggressive hit, too. I like that. Really? Yeah, he thumped it pretty good. Yellow perch travel in schools, so if you catch one fish, there's a good chance that more will be nearby. Yellow perch are also delicious to eat, so I was excited at my chances of bringing home a fresh caught meal. I slowly reeled the shiner to keep the bait just off the bottom, and it wasn't long until I hooked up with my first yellow perch of the trip. Ooh, wow, nice size one. Jeez, that's a really beautiful yellow perch. That might be the biggest yellow perch I've ever caught, Jeff. <laughs> first fish of the day is the biggest I've ever caught. The action was non-stop, and the perch were the largest I'd ever seen. I'm not really sure why the fish get so big in here, but they do, which is good for us. I mean, you can do this all over the Cape. You just got to find the right conditions. Conditions are everything in this time of year. Because I really like eating perch. My family likes eating perch, so. We don't have ice. There's only one other way to get it the little boats out and just drift around. By 9 a.m., we had caught enough perch for dinner. So Jeff and I decided to call it a day. In total, we harvested 11 fish. 
It's important to never take more than what you need. Yellow perch have a firm white fillet, which is perfect for pan frying. For this recipe, Lauren fried the perch in oil and added a side of fresh chopped garlic, asparagus, lemon, and rice. It was a delicious local meal and was a great way to cap off my first trip of the season.